Storing Digital Signals. Storing digital information, whether it's text, audio, or video, uses many of the same ideas we've been talking about for transmitting the information. The information is stored as bits, zeros, and ones. It may be compressed and, if necessary, encrypted. Three most commonly used storage techniques today are compact disk, which will probably soon be obsolete, hard disk drive, also on the way out at some point, and then solid state drives. Data are stored on a compact disk by burning pits, which will represent the ones, with a laser in circular tracks on the metal film inside a rotating plastic disk. So the metal is inside the plastic that you see here on the outside. A CD player reads the disk by bouncing a tiny laser light off the surface, following the tracks as the disk spins, just like the old records, the old vinyl records. If the light is reflected, the player reads one, and if not, it reads a zero. The original CD was designed to store about 70 minutes of stereo music. Okay, so let me just, a CD is roughly like this. Well, it isn't, it's bigger, but I'm just trying to draw it relative. This would be a 33 and a third long playing vinyl record, which could get 70 minutes on both sides. Okay, the CD puts 70 minutes on one side and it samples 16 bits at a frequency of 44 kilohertz. Improved discs include the DVD and Blu-ray, which could store several hours of video for playback, and CDR and DVDR, which enabled users to write and erase as well as read. And as mentioned earlier, many forms are becoming obsolete. Hard disk drives were invented in the 1950s. They started as large disks, up to 20 inches in diameter, holding just a few megabytes. Hard disk drives have a spinning hard platter. You can see where it's going to spin around here. It's like a little thing there. And it is covered with a thin film containing grains of magnetic ferric oxide. So very similar to CDs and vinyl discs, just different technology, but same concept. Something's rotating and you're reading information off of it. This time, instead of a phonograph needle or a laser, the hard drive uses an electromagnet to apply a magnetic field to the ferric oxide to write on the disk. The oxide remembers the field it sees until it is overwritten, even many years later. The same electromagnet is then used to read the microscopic magnetic fields written on the disk. And these are being replaced by solid straight drives. A solid state drive stores data on special computer memory chips that remember even when there is no power. They have many advantages over hard disk drives. There are no moving mechanical components, they are much smaller and lighter, and they read and write data much faster. And here, the USB thumb flash drive that you carry around in your pocket, that's a form of a solid state drive that can be plugged into a computer. 